you know this one? everybody welcome to a new video I'm here with Sherilyn we're going to Coron so if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button so basically she's the one that invited me to Max Zeze the other day and I'm here in Manila to meet up with her because I'm returning the favor we're going to Coron and we're gonna do some epic tour there like a four day tour but at first we have to take the boat 17 hours and then tomorrow we'll do some scuba diving and it's gonna be a really fun day but Sherilyn was telling me or asking me why is the ocean blue and I said, maybe it's the reflection of the sky? But she said, no. Why is it the ocean blue, Sherilyn? Because the fish says blue, 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 That is the worst answer I've ever heard. At least it's a... I'm sure, right? But anyway, we maybe roll some cinematics here on the boat. Uh, we'll try to catch a good sunset and all that, but if not, I'll see you guys in Koron tomorrow. guys what you see back there is not the sunrise that is actually the sunset so you might be wondering why are you still on the boat Finn? why are you still on the boat that's 30 hours later do you want to explain that Sherilyn? no so long story short we arrived in Coron I woke up 4 30 a.m. and I started to film the sunrise and all that beautiful place in Coron and uh, Maybe one hour later, maybe 5.30, I go up to the deck. So I go up to the deck and start filming the sunrise. And maybe one hour later, 5.30, I go to the uh, cafeteria at the back. And I look outside, where's all the people? There's no people. I only see uh, police officers walking to the boat with dog. So I thought, oh, okay, they must be doing like a search mission before they allow the people out. So I go to the cafeteria and ask them, what time can I leave the boat? And they say 6.30, 6.30. So I thought, okay, wow, I have almost one hour left to spend here before they allow us to go out. And little do we know, we see the boat start moving. So like 5, 5.50, and uh, like, why is the boat moving? And of course, the boat left. So it left Coron, and we're still stuck on the boat. And uh, yeah, so we're still here. 30 hours later, on the boat, heading down to uh, Port Puerto Princesa. <sighs> Epic fail, you know, this is probably a backpacker's worst nightmare, but uh, this is just how things are in the Philippines. I always say, ask two, three people before deciding to go somewhere. And this time I only ask one Filipino. Always ask two, three Filipinos to get a concrete answer. This is the, you know, this has happened so many times here in the Philippines for me, you know never get the right information. So this person in the cafeteria told me to stay until 6.30, which was of course completely wrong information. But once we get into a Puerto Princesa, I'll have to do what's next for us. And look guys, these over here, they actually got left over just like us. No one woke them up, no one said go out, except with us, we woke up a little bit earlier, but they said 6.30. And look, they're actually changing the uh, sound system. Well, I guess they went out of the picture just as I started filming. Yeah, they're definitely aware of me filming. But, uh, 
that's another problem, you know, we couldn't hear anything they were saying, you know, we got no information, no one picked us up or said, hey, go out now or go out or, or woke up these guys over here. It's just crazy. All right, to continue on this backpacking nightmare, guys, uh, these guys here have a pretty amazing thing. What the, uh, the staff here told them, they actually said, when they came down to talk to them, they said, uh, why did you guys not wake us up? Like, you know, we were sleeping. And the, uh, the staff here told them, well, you guys are just a foreigner. Shocking, shocking, why? Like, so they leave us four foreigners here behind. You know, it's just unbelievable. I didn't want to say this in the video or talk about it, but this is just the truth. That I have not experienced this in the Philippines yet, but uh, maybe it's this, this uh, shipping line. We don't know. All right, where are we, Sherlyn? We're here in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. Well, that's not Coron. What the hell are we doing here? Bus all the way to El Nido. We'll be arriving there maybe 1 or 2 a.m. And we have to stick out in the town, wait for the ticket in the morning, which is going to be 5 a.m. or something. And then we'll take uh, another Boat, boat to Coron, finally. So five hours later, we arrived in El Nido. Bumpy rides, very tired. We'll have to take a tricycle to the uh, terminal. And from there, we have to stay for, I don't know, four or five hours more. Sleep outside just to get the uh, first tickets. Gotta do what you gotta do. Can you explain what we're trying to do? Trying to open the gate. And the uh, security guard is what? Sleeping. Completely asleep. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we arrived in El Nido, right in front of the terminal. And we're camping outside because we want to get the first ticket in the morning. We only have five left, so maybe some of those are already gone, so we don't know. So we're just going to stick out here. But the security guard is supposed to wake up, but he's completely asleep. And it uh, would be oh, better yeah. to sleep inside instead of here. So right now it's 4.20 a.m. and we've been sleeping on the benches over there. Surrounded by a couple of dogs and cats. And they're gonna try to go to the ticket office to see if it's open. Just really, we, we need to get that ticket. So I try to get some sleep here outside. And uh, hopefully they bring the tickets now, but I might just take a nap over there on the bench. Just always remember here in Philippines, if you're a foreigner traveling, or maybe even a local, ask two, three people about information. Like even the guy that was helping us out, he said the boat was going to leave 8 o'clock this morning. And luckily there was a person in front of us in the boat that uh, was working for Montenegro shipping line. So she knew it was 6 a.m., 6 not 8 a.m. So if we had gone here to El Nido, I thought it was going to be 8 a.m. 8 a.m. We would have lost the boat to Coron. But uh, so always ask two, three people, no matter what here. So that's just a quick example. Like uh, the manager of Tuco ship from Manila down to uh, Puerto, he said we would arrive in Puerto 7:30. We arrived 8:30. He said the boat from here in El Nido lived uh, 8 a.m. But at least 6 a.m. So always ask, 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 just to get a concrete answer here in the Philippines. I'm uh, kind of used to it right now. It's a little bit hard for Sherlyn to take, to swallow this uh, hard pill to go from Coron down to Puerto. Extra 13 hour boat ride, and then going back up here and then try to cast this boat to Coron. It's an adventure, we're gonna laugh at it later on, but right now it's, it's tough, you know. No sleep, sleeping on the boat, sleeping on the bus, sleeping here on the bench. Not the easiest thing, but uh, just got to do what you got to do. Are you happy, Sherlyn? So happy. I just I went to their office for secure our ticket. And now, hi, Mimi. And we got it. <laughs> <laughs> what a journey. We uh, It's been 32 hours, the boat, uh, six hours, the bus, and then sleeping here outside for maybe, what, four or five hours. And we got the ticket. There, apparently there's only three tickets left now. So, you know, staying outside here instead of going to a hotel for a few hours was worth it. And uh, now we're off to Coron. One more boat. It's uh, almost five o'clock. The boat is going to leave 6.30, so uh, we'll be there at 10. Expedition starts 11.30. Onto that boat over there. 
and we're saying goodbye to El Nido. This place certainly brings up a lot of memories from the last trip I was here. Hiking up Toraf Cliff right behind me with uh, almost a broken leg. That was a little bit insane, but uh, yeah, memories. Definitely come back to El Nido. Quick stop here just to get this freaking ferry. It's gonna be uh, maybe three and a half hour and then we'll be in Coro. Finally, and that's gonna be the wrap for this uh, nightmare backpacker trip. Alright guys, that is it. That is the worst travel nightmare I've ever experienced. Two days later and we are in Coron. What a nightmare. But anyway, we're here in Coron. We're gonna do the four day trip. So it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna catch the hotel now and then we go back to the pier and then we're off. So, until next time guys, peace out.